Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second episode of Jurassic World, the game which is available only so far on the Australian iOS store, if you are curious as to how I've gotten this, although I am Australian. Although these games that have been soft launched, you actually don't come up on your app store. They You need to actually search it up in the search bar. So I guess they wait for the worldwide launch to actually publish it, I guess, on the app store and for you to find it easily like that. Um, let's go activate our food production yet again with another 600 coins. Uh, do we have a limit to how much we can hold of this food? I guess not. It seems to me like there's an unlimited amount. If I head over to the market. Okay. So what I'm seeming, what I think this game works is, if that, that does not make any sense, but I'm thinking that this game is with this game that all the buildings that you have are already built and all you need to build are like the enclosures to it for the animals at least that's the vibe that i'm getting we've also got an animal in the market which is the manjangasaurus so let's of course hatch that um oh we could have waited let's see get dino so what are these dna points there's so many different resources in this let's come out of here and if I click on the DNA, here we go. Receive DNA by selling dinosaurs from cages. Oh, okay. What do you mean get it free? I don't want to get it free because it's probably got something to do with uh, Facebook as well. Uh, and these animals seem to give us coins, gold coins, uh, every hour. So this Tropognathus has giving us uh, 49 an hour, whereas this Triceratops is giving us... 88 every five minutes, so that's working out pretty well for us. Uh, what else do we have over here in this market? That's about it. Complete stage two in battle. All right, well, what if we click on an animal? And how do we get to battle? Let's go to battle. Okay, here we go. Oh, that didn't work. Click battle. There we go. Battle stage two. So next unlock is Alanka. Sounds like a bit like Al-Qaeda. Oh, it's like a lot like Pokemon. So we've got some flying birds. So they seem to have different, um, I guess, well, not genres, but different species. So we've got uh, herbivores, carnivores, and a flying animal. Let's go with the triceratops. I don't think that's going to really work too well against a flying animal, but we'll try our luck. We've got three guys anyway, so hopefully we don't lose them if they die as well. We'll have to wait and see though. It's a learning process. Is only the second episode, so. Game does look really good, though, I must say. Um, because we've got a lot of health, what we'll do is... Oh, also, we get plus 50%. So, I guess we get an advantage. Let's use... Um, the... Why are you welcoming me back? I learned this game up ages ago. <laughs> uh, we used our little storage. Uh, now let's go attack three times. That should give us 157, it says, I think. Attack. Ooh. I guess not. It's a bonus turn. So how much he'll damage us. If he will. No, it doesn't seem like it will. Let's, um... Let's attack him once again. Three times. Hopefully that will dam... Oh, jeez, that was a king hit. That got him good. I'm not quite sure what the difference was between our first attack and that one, but... Because I tapped the um, red button three times again, so... Alright, anyways, that works. So, congratulations, you received 10 DNA. Alright, so, who needs free DNA? We can go ahead and get that when you're attacking some AI. So, let's go get the Alanka. Hatch that. An unoccupied incubator is required for sequencing. Activate this incubator for 10 cash. Activate, please. All right, it's going to take us eight minutes. All right, let's go collect the one that we've got. Majangasaurus, level one. All right, let's place him down there. Oh, get some XP as well. So we're still only level two. Um, if I tap this XP button, Okay, so I'm tapping the number two, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. It would be nice to show you how many, like, experience points you need to upgrade. Uh, but hopefully that'll come up. This game's only, obviously, in soft launch, so pretty much at your beta stage. 
So hopefully things will change around. We are obviously early adopters in the game, so you can't expect too much. I'm up for another rematch. What do you say? Already? I already did that. We already settled the score. All right, let's go take the 400 XP. Thank you. Let's see how much that'll give us. Oh, we don't have enough to level up just yet. All right, so I've got six minutes here. Um, am I able to get any other dinos? No, not really. But what I think I do have now is we've got the two Manjangasauruses and we've got 12 slots, I think. It says two out of 12, so I guess we do have 12 slots. That's crazy. If I click this, oh, here we go. We're gonna have, actually have a closer look at the Manjangasaurus. It's got a car flipped over with your typical Jurassic Park paint job. Very cool graphics. This game does look very, very stunning, I must say. These games on iOS and just your mobile games look so, so good. Let's keep on feeding this guy, actually, because we've got a heck of a lot of food. So let's just keep on tap, 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 tap. Make him eat, 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 eat all day. All right. Even though it's lagging because we're pressing so much stuff and things are moving, things are glowing. He's pretty much a um, angel with all the yellow light that's coming from him. That's radiating from you. That's going up to level 10. Okay, required a dino not ready. One of your dinosaurs has not yet reached level 10. Please feed it until it reaches the required level for evolution. Okay, so we need to feed this poor bugger. Um, is there a size difference? Uh, no, not really. Maybe when you level them up. So let's just keep on tapping that until I hit it up to level 10. If I've got enough food for it. Jeez, we're tapping like crazy. Alright, he's at level 8 at the moment. So we're going to have to go ahead and collect all this food. And, um, okay, level 5 to upgrade. Jeez, I've got the worst memory, don't I? Because I already clicked on that. <laughs> uh, what else can we click on over here in these buildings? Like, anything, like, no bars or anything that we can get for visitors? No, it doesn't seem like it. I'm assuming like there'll be a lot of downloadable content for a game like this. Here we go. Like I'm sure we'll have something to do with this little boat ramp. This very futuristic Cataraman. Cataraman. I think that's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there'll be some like downloadable content where we'll be able to fly off or sail off into the seven seas to some other islands. Visit some maybe parks because I don't think there's a multiplayer part to the game just yet. Alright, so enough of me talking. Let's go here. Okay, so we can sort out like this as well. That's pretty good. There's also amphibians. Okay, so there's carnivores, herbivores, pterosaurus, or ter pterosaurs, sorry, and amphibians. Okay. And then what does this do? Oh, yeah, sorry. We do have buildings. Jeez, aren't I a derp? Alright, so we've got a fountain, and we've also got a security office. Let's go place the security office first. Oh no, silly, we do have buildings. And I think that gives us money as well. I really need to get a um, iPad though for this kind of stuff because these buttons are very small. Or maybe I just got fat fingers. Or maybe it's a mixture of the both. Alright, let's go place that down as well. We've got a nice little fountain. Give us some XP, even though that's not much. So what does this 1% do? Um, is there like a query button? What, what does it 1% of? What does it... I don't know. We'll figure it out. Alright, I'm looking forward to my very first amphibians as well. Um, activate that. Oh, actually. Ah, so you can do like multiple activations. Oh, okay. So I guess if you have enough money, you can just pretty much set it up on overnight. I think is how it would work. That's pretty good. Alright, so let's come back up and over here, and ooh, the security office has been built. Ah, ah, ah. Built the security office building. Indeed we have. Alright, let's go collect that. And next up, let's go over to this Majangasaurus and feed him a couple of times. Ah, damn, he's not going to get up there just yet. Alright, well... What we'll do is I'll end this episode now. I'll go render out these first two videos that we've recorded. And then I'll go ahead and uh, we'll, by the next episode, we'll be able to go ahead and level up this Medjangosaurus. And we'll have progressed hopefully a little bit. 
Until next time though guys, I'm having a ball playing this game so far. Hopefully you're enjoying watching me just as much, even though I'm very new to all of this stuff. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.